Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goin. In our today's video, we will talk about the polynomial functions. So this one is the general form of a polynomial function or general representation of a polynomial function. We have p of x is equal to a sub n, x raised to n, plus a sub n minus 1, x raised to n minus 1, plus dot dot dot, plus a sub n, x raised to 2, plus a sub 1, x plus a sub 0. These are the terms na makikita niya, pero ito ay representation lamang. And we will talk about polynomial function with respect to variable x. So these are the two examples na makikita niya later on. So in the next part of our video, here, we will try to determine whether the following is a polynomial function or not. So yung nakita niya dito, we have 8 different numbers here na kung saan, hindi lahat yan ay polynomial function. There are restrictions for polynomial functions. So let's start with number 1. We have y is equal to 14x. y is equal to 14x. This one is definitely an example of polynomial function. So later on, I will tell you bakit hindi magiging polynomial function. By the way guys, um, if we have y is equal to 14x, that is the same as f of x. Or, pwede rin naman siyang p of x is equal to 14x. Kasi yung y natin is the same as p of x or kaya f of x. So let's continue. We have here y is equal to 5x cubed minus 4 square root of 2x plus x. Definitely, this example is not polynomial function. Sir, what is the basic reason? Bawal tayo magkaroon ng variable inside the radical sign. So, na-violate niya, meaning this one is not a polynomial function. So, isa yan sa mga restriction, guys. Uh, we need to avoid variable with uh, inside the radical sign. Next, y is equal to negative 2022x. So, this one is an example of polynomial function. Next tayo. Okay. So, y is equal to x raised to 3 over 4 plus 3 x raised to 1 fourth plus 7. So, the question here, is this a polynomial function or not polynomial function? This one is not a polynomial function. Kasi, bawal ang rational or fractional type of exponent. As you can see, the first exponent is 3 fourth and the other is 1 fourth. So, understood ito na not polynomial function. Okay? Bawal ang, expo ang variables expo sa radical sign or sa radical. Bawal din ang exponent na fraction. Next, y is equal to 1 over 2x cubed plus 2 over 3x to the 4th power minus 3 over 4x to the 5th power. This one is not an example of not polynomial function. So, ang basic reason? Ito. Hindi tayo mag pwede magkaroon ng variable sa denominator. Kasi ang tendency niyan, you can write this. If you, if you have, ano, if you have this one, 1 over 2x cubed. If ilalagay natin yung exponent sa ibabaw, or yung variable sa numerator, it will go like this. Adjust lang natin ng konti to become x raised to negative 3 over 2. So, magiging, ang tendency, magiging negative yung exponent natin. Okay? So, nalaman nyo na ngayon na bawal tayo magkaroon ng variable sa denominator at bawal tayo magkaroon ng negative exponent for the denominator. Definitely, number 5 is not polynomial function. Let's go with number 6. Y is equal to x cubed plus 2x plus 1. Definitely, a polynomial function. 7, definitely an example of not polynomial function. Sir, bakit po? We have negative exponent. Lastly, 8, y is equal to 1 minus 16x squared. Uh, though hindi siya naka-arrange properly, this one is a polynomial function. So I hope guys na nakuha niyo yung restrictions natin. Why, uh, 
why, uh, bakit natin makikonsider ang isang function ay polynomial function at bakit hindi? Una, no variable inside the radical sign, no fractional exponents, no negative exponent, bawal tayo magkaroon ng variable in the denominator. So, in the last part of our video, we have here these examples. Ang pinaka-target natin dito, guys, is to know the degree, leading coefficient, and constant term of all these polynomial function. Again, that's the like polynomial function. So, let's go. In f of x, is equal to y minus 2x, minus 11x plus 2x squared. So, this one is a polynomial function. Ang degree nito is second or 2. Pwede yan. Second degree or 2. Sir, bakit po? Kasi we can re re rearrange this as f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 11x plus 2. We're in. Para malaman may degree, you need to know what is the what is the available highest exponent in the variable. So here, we have two variable x. And meron tayo itong one exponent sa 11x. And if we compare 2 and 1, greater si 2, therefore the degree is 2 or second degree. So, what about the leading coefficient? The leading coefficient is the coefficient of the leading term. This is this one is the leading term. Again, it's an LT. Leading term, and this is the number, which is 2. So, what about the constant term? The constant term is positive 2 or 2. So, that's it for number 1. Now, let's go with number th num uh, letter number 2. Y is equal to x times x squared minus 5. Uh, before natin makuha yung degree, we need to simplify this first using distributive property. It will be y is equal to x times x squared is x cubed. Then x times negative 5, that is 5x. So ito na ngayon yung ating ano, form. We're in, ito ang ating leading coefficient. Ha? Ito. Um, yung ating degree is 3. Third degree or 3. So, yung may pinakamataas exponent. And then, the leading coefficient is 1. Ano tayo dito yung visible 1? Since, pinaparap yung constant, wala tayong constant dito, if walang constant, you will write 0. To represent no constant. So, let's move on with number 3. y is equal to x to the 4th power plus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 14x minus 56. This one is properly arranged. So, alamin na lang natin yung degree. This is the highest exponent, guys. Meaning, 4th degree siya, or 3. So, what about the leading coefficient? Since ito yung ating leading term, ang ating leading coefficient dito is yung invisible 1. So, this is 1. So, what about the constant term? This is your constant term. So, we have negative 56. So, I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to determine whether the given um, the given mathematical sentence is a polynomial function or not. And I hope na natutunan nyo rin to determine the degree, leading coefficient, constant term of a given polynomial function. Sa mga next upload natin, we will try to create videos more on polynomial function. So I hope na manood kayo ng mga videos natin. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!